Have you ever wondered how to tell which chords will work together in a particular musical sequence? Learning a harmonized major scale will teach you exactly how to do that. Not only that, you'll learn new ways to express chords you already know and vastly improve your rhythm playing. Let's start with a bit of theory. Quite often we will get a piece of music, chords, and wonder what scale to attach to that to play over those chords. The real way to go about this is to start with a scale and then add the chords to the scale. However, the process usually does start with putting chords together. Let's explore this. You might be quite well familiar with how to build a major chord. We take the first, third, and fifth notes of a scale, combine them together, and when we play them together, that becomes a chord. An example we're going to be doing in D major, if we take the first, third, and fifth note of the D major scale and put them together, they are D, F sharp, and A, that is a D major chord. What happens if we play the next three notes, the second, the fourth, and the sixth? That's an E, a G, and a B. Hey, did you realize that's an E minor chord? Therefore, the E minor chord is the second chord of that scale. What if we play the third, fifth, and seventh notes together? F sharp, A, and C sharp. That's an F sharp minor triad. That's the third chord from the D major scale. What if we continue on? Play the fourth, sixth, and eighth notes together. That's G, B, and D. Guess what? That's your G major chord. Your G major chord is the fourth chord of the D major scale. All of these chords will work well together. What if we continue? Fifth, seventh, and ninth notes. Of course, now we're repeating our octave as was shown in a previous example. Fifth, seventh, ninth notes. A, C sharp, E. Bam, A major chord. And now you can see quite easily why a progression of D major, G major, and A major work really well together. Moving on. Sixth, eighth, and tenth notes. That's B, D, and F sharp. That's a B minor chord. And now you can see why D major and B minor work really well together. In fact, all the chords we've been going through, so long as we start with a D major, generally speaking, will work great together. Let's move on. What say we have the seventh, ninth, and eleventh notes added together? C sharp, E, and G. That's a C sharp diminished chord. A bit jazzy and uncommon in most popular modern music. And moving on, all we would do is repeat everything in a new octave. Now you know how to work out which chords work together and you've learnt the D major harmonized scale. It might take a bit of practice and certainly learning how to play it on guitar, which we are going to do, will take a little effort. But let's think about this. Once you've learned how to do this in one key, being D major, you can do it in every single other key. And we're going to look into that too.